2010 was a great bike in, in its own right, but the 2012 is just one step ahead. The one thing that was most important for us to carry over was the engine and drivetrain because they are the best in the touring industry. It's the smoothest engine, it has plenty of power, and our customers really like that platform. You don't want to destroy what's already great about the bike, yet small refinements, improvements, and upgrades are really all this bike needed. Based on our customers' needs, we found three areas for improvement, and that was styling, features, and comfort. At first glance, the, the styling uh, gives the bike a more aggressive look, but there's also some functionality there. Starting with the front of the bike, we changed the headlight area from chrome to black to give it a more modern look, and the air intakes above the headlights are in a little bit more aggressive shape. The fairing is a little bit wider, and the wind protection is improved, so the still airspace around the rider and the passenger, particularly in the lower leg area, is improved over the previous model. The rear fender as well has been redesigned where there's a new tail light turn signal assembly that is completely new shape for 2012. The saddlebags now have, have gained some additional capacity. Although the opening is pretty much the same, you can fit longer objects in the saddlebags. On the non-airbag models, there will be a new glove box where the radio used to exist on the previous generation Gold Wings. Most impressive features on the 2012 for me are the upgrades to the audio system. Where you used to have to use the iPod in the left-hand fairing pocket, you now can hook up your iPod through the trunk through a USB interface. In addition to the iPod integration and a new audio system, for 2012 there's the surround sound feature. When you turn on the surround sound, you'll get more sound out of the rear speakers than you did in the previous model years. You hear the music coming from all directions. It's a really neat experience. Some of the additional features for 2012 include a new navigation system. The Navi system has a much more modern look. The lane guidance feature is a real benefit. With focus on comfort, we updated the urethane material within the seat to enhance the seat comfort and also the front and rear suspension bushings have been improved. The changes to the front suspension uh, have a dramatic impact on how smooth the bike feels. One of the reactions after riding the Gold Wing is that it feels so light and it rides very sporty. A big surprise to anyone who rides a wing for the first time is how powerful they are and the handling. It's a big motorcycle, but it feels like a sport bike. A younger rider would find it amazingly fun to ride. One of the things they realize is that it, it is very versatile and they can use it every day in their lives for basic transportation, commuting. You really don't have to sacrifice anything. The Goldwing's always been the standard for two-up touring. It's simply put the most comfortable machine for both passenger and rider. The 2012 is more of a great thing. It's modernized. It's what the Goldwing's been all along, the touring standard.